I am not a psychiatrist, but I play one on TV, and here's the psychiatric component to this. It's gonna whet your appetite. 25 minutes from now, Abby is in the kitchen making Kaufman-friendly sugar cookies. The sugar is a knot, but you can't believe these. They taste like the real thing. You'll be able to make them too. Kim Bright is here with me. She's been a friend of mine for many, many years talking about multi-collagen protein. Why would I need that? Watch the segment. I started taking it afterwards. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Started it maybe a year ago, stopped, now I'm taking it again. In the opening of today's show, men with prostate problems. Find out what 80% of men in one study got better from using. All that and more right now. Today's show is brought to you by Brightcore, your foundation for health and beauty. For the past 45 years, I have dedicated my life and my whole career to finding the root cause of disease. And I now know with certainty that we must play a role in our own health care. I'm a self-care advocate, and you know what? Every time you change your diet for the better, exercise or swallow a nutritional supplement, so are you. Now welcome to Know the Cause. Friends, I can never do enough shows about cancer or inflammation. Uh, you know, I believe, and it's pretty well documented, that, that at least one of these fungal poisons induces human cancer. More of them induce cancer in animals, but the human studies have never been done. Also, what makes bread rise? Could that same yeast be causing inflammation inside our body? So. Let's go to something that is so common in men. As a matter of fact, look at the first graphic. About 8% of men over 50, and it's gotta be 20% over 60, suffer from swelling of the prostate gland or prostatitis. Prostatitis can cause a number of chronic problems, including pain, redness, swelling, blood in the urination, frequent urination, and sexual dysfunction. When I worked in practice, uh, clinical nutrition practice with these doctors, it was something men would pull me aside and say, you're not gonna believe this, you know, there's blood in my urine or what's going on here, or I have all sorts of problems. And younger men, it's interesting, 30s, 40s, and 50s end up with this problem. So let's try and unravel it. <clears throat> Dr. Richard Ablin discovered the PSA antigen the year I was in Vietnam. In 1970, he was discovering the PSA antigen. This book talks about how it didn't work. He contends the big medicine, how big medicine hijacked the PSA test and caused a public health disaster. He contends in this book that it hurt a huge number of men because it was inaccurate. Then, of course, I befriended uh, Dr. A.V. Costantini the, of this trio who wrote the book Prostate Cancer Hope at Last. In this book, he has a chapter, prostate specific antigen is not specific to prostate cancer and he alludes to the fact that it's a fungus test, not a prostate cancer test, okay? So let's start there. Prostatitis or inflammation, swelling of the prostate and fungus. Prostatitis can be caused by chronic bacteria or fungal infections. Fungal prostatitis is especially common in elderly, hospitalized, catheterized, and immunosuppressed males, right? Fungal prostatitis is caused by candida species, especially glabrata and albicans, two candida species. Uh, that kind of lays the groundwork because 100% of men go on antibiotics. When you go to your doctor and say, you know, I feel like my prostate's swollen, okay, well here's your antibiotic. What do antibiotics do to a fungal infection? Every woman who's taken rounds and rounds of antibiotics and have ended up with a chronic vaginal yeast infection know that antibiotics fuel yeast and fungus. And these are yeast, candida albicans and candida glabrata, okay? Yes, fungus commonly causes prostatitis, says this study. An Egyptian study reported that antifungal treatment may be, may be very helpful for men with chronic prostatitis. 1,000 consecutive male patients were with chronic prostatitis, were treated for two weeks with a low carb diet, isn't that like the Kaufman diet, and an antifungal drug called fluconazole, it's also called Diflucan. Over 80%, guys, we need to get this to our doctor. Four out of five of those men, more than, reported significantly improved prostate symptoms. 
Successful treatment was also associated with a significant reduction in PSA. They didn't put the patients on antibiotics. They starved fungus and they killed it with diflucan. Every urologist in the world should know this, every oncologist, but none of them do. I'm here today to teach you possibly another way. There are herbs, there are supplements. The diet is something I think men with prostatitis have to follow. Antibiotics for prostatitis. Uh, men have a very high chance of being prescribed one or several antibiotics for prostatitis, but these don't work and may be counterproductive in many uh, prostate infections, especially when the cause is fungus. Sometimes, let me back up on that statement. Sometimes antibiotics work. You know men in two or three days, wow, I took this antibiotic and my prostate's so much better. Bingo, thank you. It was bacterial. The doctor guessed it right. But so often the doctor doesn't, maybe 80% of the time. And that's when you need to step up because the doctor doesn't know about this. Good people, twice my IQ, but I have no idea that fungal prostatitis or fungal arthritis or any of these itises are linked back to fungus. The CDC is finally teaching men to think fungus. If they have symptoms that don't get better with treatment, antibiotics worsening your prostatitis or not helping improve it, think antifungal medications. And may I say, also think diet. Starving fungus works. No more beer, no more bread. Okay, hope that helps. Always a pleasure to introduce my friend of 24, 25 years, Kim Bright, the founder of Bright Core Nutrition and what this company has done. I'm proud to use their products. I mean, I get up in the morning with sweet wheat, right? In the middle of the day, I'll take some something called Revive. Now, wait a minute, Revive? What is Revive? This collagen is truly amazing. When did you come up with this concept? When did you learn about collagen? Oh, probably about three, three and a half years ago. And uh, I really got excited about it because I understood that just about every thing in our body is comprised of collagen. And it's a structural support system for our bones. Our bones are 90% collagen. And if we don't have it, we start to fall apart. It is a structural component. It's a key structural component in our body. So I got very excited about it. I saw how it could revive our skin, revive our hair, revive our bone health, our joint health, our tendon health. Um, you know, all over the body, we could revive ourselves. And uh, by putting Perfect. the collagen back in that goes out at age 20, 25, it starts reducing. And collagen, folks, is the most abundant protein in our bodies. Amino acids make those proteins. So you can imagine a lot of good stuff in this. Can I ask you, because this question comes up often, where do you source the collagen? USA, all of our ingredients, organic USA. We're about the USA, Doug. And you're using uh, a bovine collagen? Yes, using we're, fish. we're using grass-fed beef, we're using uh, wild Atlantic cod and we are using free-range chickens so this is where we're getting it from. I, I should know who am I asking <laughs> Mrs. Natural here. Um, it's it's good that you did it this way. Tell me the role because I have seen stories about us being deficient in something called hyaluronic acid. Yes. Can also uh, contribute to some of those symptoms we see aging skin and so forth so that's right with the brilliance of your company what you guys decide to do is combine them. Exactly, because they support each other. And hyaluronic acid, just like collagen, as we get to be 20 or 25, it naturally starts to leave our body at the same rate. So by the time we're 50, 60, we hardly have anything left. Hyaluronic acid is the, is the um, moisturizer, if you will, for the collagen. The collagen has a very, its tensile strength is like steel. It's stronger than steel. So that's our structures holding up our bones, holding up our tendons, holding up our skin. But we need that bendability and that elasticity. So what the hyaluronic uh, acid does is it's naturally occurring in our body and it goes into the collagen and makes it pliable, that plasticity, that softness that we need in order to have bendability. And the elastin that's also there uh, gives us bendability as well. And collagen makes up elastin and the hyaluronic acid and the, and the collagen all together uh, make this incredible thing. And vitamin C as well, Doug, 
Collagen needs vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. So combined, that's why we chose to do that. You have to wonder, I hear you talking. Uh, my wife took a picture of me kissing one of the little grandkids. And what is this all about? What happens here? Lack of collagen can contribute to skin failing you. Well, we have life. tendons everywhere. We have tendons in our neck. And guess what? When, when that structure, that understructure starts to fall apart, Everything's sagging. Everything, our skin is sagging. Our, the uh, skin that holds up our organs, the inside of our gut, uh, it, we get leaky gut because it's tearing, it's going thin. Uh, the skin is getting thin. Everything is starting to leak out. We've get, got these crevices in our heels, uh, mm -hmm. in our, in our f ends of our fingers that allow pathogens in. We're losing collagen. Let's put it back in before it leaves, Doug. Let's stay healthy. So every tissue, so you're talking about bone. Could bone on bone, so many of the viewers contact me about having a bone on bone, and boy, the first answer is a surgeon. Could there be an intermediate step there where this might help? Well, we have that cartilage, and cartilage is comprised of, of, of the collagen. And you know, in our back, in our spine, we have those discs that are comprised of hyaluronic acid and collagen. It's like a radial tire. You know how they build a radial tire uh, layer upon layer? And as that radial tire gets older and older, you've gone down the high Highway and you see black things yep, falling yep. off of, of tires and it's like whoa the radial tires falling apart well guess what we're falling apart inside that collagen those strands are coming undone and they're breaking and we're just mm. falling to pieces speaking of falling to pieces when we get back from the short break Kim is gonna tell us a story give us a testimonial about someone who almost had that happen don't go away we'll be right back with more main component of connective tissue. I learn so much when you're here. I like absorb when you're talking and you've obviously studied this a long time. It's called collagen. Collagen is in the product uh, called Revive along with hyaluronic acid, vitamin C. Yep. All work synergistically. Let's see if I can do this. I purposely didn't take my uh, Revive today. This would be around the time I take it, but I will take it now. I love, now I use the strawberry uh, lemon. I love that. And then you have a non-flavored one. Thank you. It's very yummy, mm. especially in the afternoons, I like it. Oh, delicious, <laughs> absolutely delicious. You had a testimonial oh. that you wanted to talk about. Now, yes. I'm hearing about this guy from everywhere, so go uh, ahead. Uh, Michael is 76, and he was aging so poorly. Whenever anybody would even touch him, barely touch him, or he would bump something, his skin would bruise. Mm. And his skin was so opaque, you could almost see through it. And he was wearing all over his entire body. He had to wear bandages. He had to wear these pads to protect him. He started taking our collagen. And in two weeks, his skin tearing had stopped. He wow. could bump into things. No, none of that happening anymore with that uh, bruising. It was amazing. And, and he is just sold. That's what sold him on our products. He said, this is just an amazing thing. It's I've seen some of the photos that you've had here on TV and they were so dramatic. Does the time vary? In other words, if someone 76 years old is very deficient in collagen, in two weeks they can make that up enough dermally that you can see change. How about uh, some of the other people with large uh, inflammation under their eyes or other health problems? Does it take a while? Well, again, it's, mm -hmm. it's dosage and it depends on how severe the condition is. So what I tell people to do is super dose, mega dose in the beginning because we're, you know, most of our clients are, you know, 40 and up. Mm -hmm. And so you've already gone past that age where the, the collagen is declining um, every year. So if you can take it three times a day and you can cook with this, you can put it in your meatloaf, you can sprinkle it on salads, you can do whatever with it. Um, but just get in three times a day for the first three to six months, then twice a day and then you can finally back it off to once a day. But you hyperdose, your body will suck it up like a dry sponge soaks water up. Well, I've had several inquiries on my live television, or the live uh, show, internet show, about people with hiatal hernias. And you have to wonder if that tissue is becoming so soft, you know, for intestine to permeate it, uh, or inguinal hernia, 
that it doesn't have something to do with a collagen deficiency. I would believe so because think about our intestinal uh, tract, yeah. how it thins as we age and we're getting the breakages there. We get the breakages topically in our skin. We get uh, creaky knees, we get bone on bone. It's collagens everywhere, hyaluronic acids everywhere in our body to keep that supple. And so we need both things and that's why our Revive contains the vitamin C, which aids and abets the collagen in the uh, production of it, and hyaluronic acid, which is definitely needed for uh, the collagen to stay supple. So it's all there. When you were here a couple of months ago, I thought, this sounds interesting because, you know, my hair, I'd like it to grow quicker, my nails are a bit chipped and so forth. I got to tell you, right now, I need to trim them. About every week, they're growing like crazy, and my uh, you know, once every six week haircut is now once a month. There's something to this, Kim. You're on to something very exciting. It is very exciting. And to see the results from people and how excited they are and how it changes their lives. I mean, think about this poor guy. If you had to go around with all these bandages all over your body and bumping into things, it's unreal. And people that, you know, when they used to get up in the morning or they'd, they'd bend over and they could barely, and they had, oh, you know, and they start taking this and they, they have all this, you know, bendability, I call it again, and I even noticed it. Like, I can almost lay my head. When I'm sitting on the floor and I have my, my legs out, I can almost lay my head on top of my knees. I haven't been able to do that since I was young. You're becoming flexible. I am becoming flexible. How do you get this, folks? Buy two bottles, of course, thank you for everything you do as a family business. Buy two bottles and get one free. Revive KTC, that stands for Know the Cause. RevivekTC.com or there's the toll free number. Uh, also, I love them for this 60 day money back guarantee. And you'll also throw in a vitamin D3 with every order through Brightcore, yep. the founder of Brightcore. Thank we love you. people. We want to help them. We want to get them healthy. Can I just tell you what I hear? They love you, too. Aww. You're a very popular guest. Thank you for coming on today. And we get to learn about a brand new product I want you guys to try. Buy a couple of bottles, one for a friend. Do it together. Thank you. Thank you. You bet. Hi everyone, my name is Abby and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you a simple and easy sugar cookie recipe. This is all Kaufman approved. Um, the full recipe is on knowthecause.com but I'm gonna show you how to make them pretty quick. It's a nice basic recipe. You can add your own ingredients or flavors later on but this is the start. Okay, first in my mixer I've got a stick of butter and I'm going to add in some coconut oil and some monk fruit sweetener. You can also use xylitol if you want. I wouldn't suggest stevia for this just because when it comes to baking, you need a the same kind of ratios and stevia just won't make the same kind of ratio. Um, so we're gonna mix this up together. Okay, and that is nice and creamed together. So now I'm gonna add in one egg and a little bit of vanilla. And then we're just gonna turn that on for another 10, 15 seconds and mix that together. Okay. And just resting for a little bit. We're gonna take all of our dry ingredients. Now I've got two cups of almond flour, some coconut flour, a little bit of salt. Now I'm just gonna mix all these together so we don't have any lumps. And then I'm going to slowly, I'll turn on my mixer and I'll slowly add in a little bit of flour at a time and just blend it as it goes. Right, I've got a nice, ooh, nice sticky dough. And then from here, I'm gonna take the bowl out. And you're just gonna mix it until it forms a nice big kind of dough ball. It shouldn't take too much more mixing. And now I'm going to wrap this in saran wrap and let it chill in the fridge for at least an hour. You can chill it. It's best if you chill it overnight, but if you give it at least an hour, you want it to be really cold before you start working with it. All right, now I'm just gonna put this in the fridge for at least an hour. Okay, 
I've got my cookie dough. It's been chilling for at least an hour. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unwrap it and break off a piece. Roll that out between a couple of pieces of parchment paper that I have here. Looks good. And now to keep this cool, I'm gonna wrap it back up and put it back in the fridge. Just so that way it stays cool, because the colder it is, the easier it is to roll out and it's less likely to stick to everything. I've got my oven preheating to 350. So now I've got a, this cookie dough in between two pieces of parchment paper. I'm gonna squish it out just a little bit with my hands, and then I'm gonna roll out the rest of the rolling pin. And you wanna roll the dough out to where it gets to be about a quarter of an inch thick, because you want these cookies to be a little bit thicker. So when you get to the ends, and the sides when it gets a little too thin, they can break off really easily and they just don't hold together when they're, when they're done cooking. And I just kind of go by feel, like I can feel the edges around the sides and I can see about how far I need to go, okay? Now, I've got a little cookie cutter right here. I've got a little star. You can use any shape you want, just to know the more intricate it is, the harder it's gonna be to actually transfer them over to your cookie sheet. Um, so I'd stick with the basics, squares, stars, circles, what have you. And these cookies are best for making, um, for using cookie cutters. They're not the kind where you want to roll them up into a ball and they'll flatten out because they don't really flatten out at all. So you, these are the ones that you're going to use the cookie cutters for. And put it on some parchment paper right here. Now these cook pretty quickly, so they're only going to need to be in the oven for about eight, maybe ten minutes. You just want to get just slightly golden brown on the bottom. I'm gonna use, I've got a big offset spatula right here. I'm gonna get this last one out. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven for about eight minutes, I'll check on them. And if I can see the edges around the bottom are starting to get brown, it's a good time to pull it out. Okay. All right, my second batch of cookies are out of the oven and they're cooling off. This is my first batch here, they're all ready to go and we're gonna transfer from the pan over to the cooling racks. So let's see. But yeah. There you go. It's a simple, basic sugar cookie recipe. This would be great if you could um, figure out a nice little icing or a glaze or some sugar to put on top. Try them with your kids. This is great to do for the holidays or birthday parties or anything like that. They're sweet, but they're not overly sweet. This would be really easy to add some cinnamon or extra vanilla or peppermint if you want to make peppermint cookies or something like that. They're fantastic to have. None of this food feeds fungus. Um, Please make these, let me know how you like them, and have a great day. So I start my morning out with a little sweet wheat and a glass of water, right, make my system more alkaline. Then sometime during the day, I take a big old scoop of multi-collagen powder. She calls it Revive, there it is. If you buy two bottles of this, you get one free. They also have a 60-day money-back guarantee. You don't like it on 59 days? Call them. Tell them. Okay? And finally, this. I love this. If you call within the next two hours, you can do this, you guys. Receive a free bottle of their vitamin D3 with any order. Okay? So if you get your collagen, buy one, get two free, and a free bottle of cholecalciferol, vitamin D3. Wonderful, wonderful deal. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this show and telling your friends about Know the Cause. You know I do these live segments a couple of times a week also. Thank you for being here today. Thank you to Kim for coming in. God bless you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.